Well, the organization that manages the Texas power grid says we should have enough power to meet the demand during this upcoming bout of extremely cold weather. It's that word should. Should. Could we have should. something a little more definitive? ERCOT did issue nice. a weather watch, though. Dan Godwin live to explain what that means and just how confident they are. Dan. And Lauren, whenever the state power grid is heading into a period of peak demand, people in Texas still wonder if there's going to be enough generating capacity to provide adequate electricity for homes and businesses and avoid outages. We did speak with a research scientist at UT Austin with expertise in power grids. He was able to offer us some reassurance that the system should be able to produce the energy that'll be needed once we get into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Dr. Joshua Rhodes pointed to a few factors, including clear skies that will help with solar power production, as well as windy conditions that will also help generate power. And he says energy storage for the grid through battery capacity has also improved and can be drawn upon if needed. And if you just look at the buffer between, we've got thousands of megawatts of, of expected capacity that we, um, to be on the system at that time, that we won't actually need at that time, even though we are going to peak. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. And when we talk about winter weather in Texas, memories linger of the 2021 freeze that crippled the grid and left more than 240 people dead statewide. That storm brought widespread freezing rain and snow and a winter storm warning for every Texas county. And those extremely challenging conditions are not in the forecast this time around. ERCOT, the operator of the power grid, did not agree to an on-camera interview for this storm story, but officials always remind people in situations like this, if you do lose power, it may be the result of a tree branch falling on a power line and uh, therefore simply a local outage. Reporting live, Dan Godwin on Good Day.